Good evening and Islamic and welcome to BFA's On The Ball Show. We've got a special show for you today. We will be talking all, all things BFA as usual, but more importantly, we're going to be talking and doing the live draw for the BFA UK Bangladeshi Championship. It's in its into its eighth year uh, now, or the eighth time we're doing it, should I say. Uh, but loads to talk about as ever. And with me to talk all things BFA, we've, uh, we've got a guest who's uh, been away for a while, been away <laughs> traveling, and uh, but he's back. And he's back with his BFA hat on. So let me introduce my guest to my left. Uh, we've got the main man himself, the chairman of Bangladesh Football Association, Aras Bay. Salam alaikum. You all right? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Nice to see you. And you, welcome back. Uh, thank you very much. You had a nice break? Yeah, I went to Bangladesh, as you know, for yeah. a couple of weeks. Um, uh, saw the family, went on a football tour. So was it a football tour or was it a family it tour? It was a kind of football tour. Then, you know, family, see the family, sort a few things out as you do mm -hmm. in the village. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Um, and uh, did you actually get to play any football? I, I played the first game. Okay. Uh, I think I scored as well, so it wasn't. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right. So listen, while you've been away, a lot's been going yeah. on. Um, le I guess le let's start uh, w with our flagship uh, and our main project and Sporting Bengal. Uh, they've had a number of games in the last yeah. few weeks. Uh, the season is nearly over. I think we've got... Um, what is it? Three games left to play now That's in the right. league. Yeah. Uh, doing, I guess, cons relatively well compared to where we're at. We're one point away from the best ever season we've yeah. had in the in senior football. Um, I guess it's, it's a good time to ask you, how has Anwaruddin's first season been? Ob obviously, like you say, I mean, uh, judging by the results, uh, obviously, and compared to last year, he's done wonderfully well. I mean, he's obviously steadied the ship, uh, brought uh, discipline in terms of organising the team and kind of making us hard to beat. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I've watched mi most of the games this year. I mean, although, um, you know, uh, obviously, you know, there's been so many times we've drawn games where we c could have won. Uh, but I, I think, um, you know, I, I'm, I think Progress has been made, mm -hmm. I, I would like to uh, say that, you know, compared to last year. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think in, in a nutshell, so far, so good. OK, but in terms of w where you see the style of play uh, moving, coming, moving into next season, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. Um, there's rumours going around as to will Anwar be around? What's your take on all, all whether Anwar is going to be around next year or not? Will he be moving on to bigger and better things? I mean, obviously, rumours are rumours. Uh, um, from from my point of view, I, 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 and when Anwar came on board, he said he was for here for the long haul, mm -hmm. uh, at least uh, three years. Mm -hmm. My understanding is so. I'm sure uh, Anwar will commit and kind of uh, uh, see those three years out. So I'm confident that he will be there next year okay. uh, and develop on the progress we've made this year, definitely. Okay. What, what, would, what do you see as development moving into next season? Uh, I guess it's development is all relative um, to compared to where we were at this, this time last year, where, you know, significantly better. Uh, but the, I guess the personnel within the squad and the management team has completely been overhauled to where it was Anyone who has been to, uh, you know, even if we take this yeah. weekend, for example, I think there may, there may be three names that would have been on the team sheet from last year. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, look, uh, we've, we, we, when we appointed Anwar, we knew it was going to be s somebody different, somebody with different style, different mentality, different professionalism. Uh, and, um, uh, and, yeah, so if you're saying in terms of, you know, going next year, what the style? O obviously, you know, being sp traditionally sporting Bengal, we, we've definitely played a different brand of football, which mm -hmm. is different from this season. Mm -hmm. But um, th th the whole question has always been: Do we play pretty football, then get uh, beaten four, five, six mm -hmm. nil, mm -hmm. or do we play less attractive football uh, and make ourselves hard to beat? and kind of uh, um, progress within the league. So it's very hard to balance. I mean, in an ideal world, we would like to you know, play fantastic style of football mm -hmm. and also be at the top of the table, if not win the league. Okay, uh, and or, or from with regards to looking at the, uh, the talent and the, I guess the, 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 the growth of talent within our own community, it would what's it looking like? Are we going to be seeing more players coming through the ranks uh, in the next year, maybe, and challenging and trying to get a spot in the Sporting Bengal team? And 
Well, I hope so. I mean, obviously, this year uh, we've had one or two come through. The likes of uh, uh, Yasin and Toyob have been a real uh, kind of a, a real find, really, because mm -hmm. these two players have, have come leaps and bounds, in my view, uh, in terms of uh, progression. Mm -hmm. uh, ideally, I would have liked to see a few more players come through. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I'm hoping next year they will do so. Okay. Uh, right. So with that in mind, obviously we've got uh, where we where where we kind of say where we have the pool of talent talent at our disposal. Um, it's it's not far away. Four weeks, less than four weeks away now. Mm. The BFA Summer League. Um, yeah. I yeah. Mean that, that's around the corner. Um, what can people expect from the BFA Summer League this year? What what is it? Is it uh, it's our twenty twenty. 20th, 20th, yeah, this year. yeah. I mean, so it's uh, uh, you know, it, what what are we expecting from this yeah. year's league? Well, as you say, it's 20th. It's a big milestone for us. Uh, uh, and uh, as usual, what can you expect from the summer league? Uh, I mean, great football, big teams, uh, great competition, mm -hmm. great camaraderie, uh, getting the community together, atmosphere, etc. And with regards to the divisions, uh, we're still same as last year. There's going to be three so divisions. So same as last year, uh, three divisions. Um, I think uh, I, I prefer three divisions really, because uh, sometimes if you are too big, mm -hmm. then the quality of some of the teams I is not there. So I think w we kind of cut it down to three now, and mm -hmm. I think um, some teams have struggled. You know, previously they had A team, B mm -hmm. team. As you know, it's very difficult yeah. to run a football team, let alone yeah, two, two football yeah, teams. So th that's the reason some of uh, w why we have kind of uh, uh, um, come down to three, three uh, divisions. But as I say, you'll see a fantastic football. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, when the weather's nice, everyone comes out, and it's kind of a festival of football uh, for another another year and uh, and the twentieth year. Okay. Well, again, the excitement of summer league, the build up has already begun. Yeah. The merry-go-round of player tapping up and everything has begun but over the years this is probably the most crucial part isn't it that lead up the first I guess the three four weeks leading up to the the first game yeah where you're signing the players uh, you've played in the summer league yeah, yeah you've yeah. you know I'm assuming you've managed in the summer league or you've ha you, you've been helping out how crucial is it that teams now start recruiting for that period because again the the rules are for those that don't know and what the BFA summer league is about it's been like I say we've been going for 20 years now we started off with eight teams am I right eight teams yeah and now we have close to 40 teams that are playing um, in our BFA summer league and the beauty of this is well what used to be but now it's played across two venues it used to be played in in one venue so you had during a weekend up to I guess a thousand footballers yeah, playing in one right, location right, so uh, you know, it's unique to the UK uh, and, and like I say, it's positive discrimination, and we're proud of that as well. I think ult ultimately that it's we're here to give our community the opportunity, and I, th I think we um, we need to embrace that. But we we do have the added excitement of that in that we allow four non-Bangladeshi players to play in the team at any one time, and that's really where the fun and games begin, with especially within the Premiership, because you do you know for those viewers that aren't aware, you get the four non-Bengalis that do come in in the Premiership and even the First Division. Uh, of a very high caliber. That's right, and uh, uh, and some BFA Summer League is the biggest summer league uh, in, in the UK. Oh, okay. And also, it's been quite pioneering in the fact that we have three officials, uh, which wasn't the case uh, normally. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, all the fun and all the preparation starts from now, really, because, mm -hmm. like you say, it is of a different format. So you have to. Uh, to just just. Describe the format again. What format is, is half an hour each way. Yeah. So obviously it's a more faster game, uh, and you have to plan as a manager, as a player, uh, the you know the the tactics. It's a bit like you know uh, you know compared to like Test cricket and you know one day cricket. I mean the skills. The reason I'm being topical, obviously, okay. you know we had the 2020 uh, yeah. cricket final. Uh, Okay, uh, we've got a call on the line. I okay. think it might be someone for you because you weren't on the show last week. All right, okay. So let's take this call. Uh, Asnal, look, and we've got a, 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 a guest. They were on the show last week and he's called in. Uh, a brother, Ali Akbar from Hello. Cardiff, has called in. Asnal, Alibai. Hello. Hello. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam, Alibai. You're live in the studio. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hoka, what, what would you like to say? You're, uh, you're speaking to Imro. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? You're right? I'm right. 
Yes, how are you? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Uh, it was a pleasure to be your guest uh, actually last Sunday. It was a pleasure to have you have you here, as, as always. Thank you very much for coming. I'm sure um, we'll see more actually, of you. Actually, uh, my salam goes to Alan. Uh, I was by the minister last week. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't be there, Ali Akbar. Uh, salam to you as well. And uh, I saw the uh, show last week. It was fantastic to have everybody on the show last week. Yeah, I heard that your health wasn't uh, that well, so I, um, I hope uh, uh, you are better now. I'm sure you are better, that's why you're here. <laughs> yes, Alhamdulillah, uh, yeah, I'm better now, thank you. Yeah, how was the trip to Bangladesh? I, I heard that you, uh, you had a few games. Yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. You know, uh, I'm very proud of my country, and every time I go back there, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, I'm jealous, actually, because uh, <laughs> I haven't got the I haven't got the physique to oh. be to you know. <laughs> All right. I'm sure I'm sure Alhamdulillah you have, and I pray to Allah that you carry on for many many years. Yeah, thank you very much. And obviously, uh, you know the Bengal Dragons they've had a brilliant, uh, successful uh, tour as well, which I was really proud of and uh, very uh, happy to hear about. Yes, uh, yeah, the boys had a great uh, uh, experience, and inshallah, and when they go in next time, um, they cannot wait to go for uh, for the second uh, tour. Yeah. Uh, um, if you know, if everything goes well, um, I'm hoping that you and and Emrubai is going to be with us actually in the next next tour. If if it all works out for all of us, inshallah, and I hope to see you brothers very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, next week. Uh, is it next week? It's next week. Is it next okay. week? Okay. I, I had a question. I heard about this question mark about the 17th. Is it still on? I'm sure. No uh, way. Yeah. Uh, we will know about this more than. Uh, is it still on? Uh, well, the date's been rearranged. I think if you I speak, think so too, yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got a because we're trying to make it quite a big event. Uh, and we're trying to involve the likes of Kick It Out and FSF, and also getting get the Cardiff City Football Club involved as well. Uh, I think your guys, Tam, uh, uh, Tamim and um, Jalal, will probably have more details. But we're looking provisionally at around the fourth of June, which is a Saturday. Uh, so the game's definitely going ahead, but the date is just kind of. Uh, in limbo at the moment but I think a provisional date that we've put in or penciled in for now is the 4th of June uh, f so again I would I, I would urge uh, everybody in Cardiff and everybody in Swansea who's in the area I think the game's going to happen in Cardiff anyway We're, we will be making the trip trip to you, trip to you guys uh, so Sporting Bengal our Glasgow boys uh, so it will be an all Bangladeshi team coming to take on your Welsh boys in Bengal Dragons so we're looking forward to it we've kind of we've kind of rearranged the, the game a couple of times now but hopefully it's gonna go ahead on the 4th of June is that all right inshallah, yeah. inshallah we'll so uh, I think we're gonna see you before that though anyway we're gonna see you next Sunday Are you coming down next Sunday for the UK yeah, Championship I'm tomorrow actually I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be hoping to see you next uh, next Sunday if okay. everything goes well inshallah we'll be there uh, brilliant okay we'll look we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to that uh, keep watching because uh, in the second, maybe the third segment, we're going to do the draw for the Bangladesh UK Championship. Uh, we're just waiting for a couple of guys. They're, they're stuck in traffic, <laughs> unfortunately. So we'll get that done as soon as we uh, we have them on in the second segment or maybe the third. So hopefully uh, that will work. So Ali Akbarbai, thank you very much for your call. Appreciate it. And inshallah, we'll still see you uh, next Sunday down at Wanstead. Yep. Take care. He's gone. All right. Yeah. So again, um, big thank you to uh, uh, Bengal Dragons, uh, another partner of ours, uh, yeah. you know, along with the guys in Bradford, Chapel FC, doing some brilliant work in such a short period of time. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, like to think we, it took us 20 years, but I suppose the learning curve is shorter. So these brothers hopefully, mm. uh, you know, can learn or have learned from us in terms of our structure and what we do. So it's brilliant to see in a sh very short time short space of time these organization are you know moving leaps and bounds if there was a bit of a, i guess a, a snippet of i guess gold dust that you could throw on their organization and tell them you know a bit of advice that you could give them moving forward that is essential what would that be i think essential like anything in life uh, emil is to have the passion if you have the passion for what you are uh, what you want to achieve or what you what you do then you can go a long way uh, if you have that hunger desire and passion as i say then that, that's the first ingredient. Uh, second, and obviously, is to network uh, and, and build the contacts and also build the skill uh, which is needed to run a, a successful organization and mm -hmm. a big organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th there's various factors which is needed, but Alhamdulillah, the brothers are on the right track and it's very refreshing to see 
younger people uh, mm. uh, who are taking on the mantle. So especially uh, the Bengal Dragons, obviously, Humayun at Bradford mm. as well. Uh, I think they've really, really, I mean, I mean the future is quite bright for us as a, a, a kind of a, a sporting you know, organization that younger people are taking over the mantle and hopefully they will you know, push us you know, further than what we've, we're achieving or have achieved. Okay, uh, so let's get back to our BFA Summer League, yeah. obviously. Now, we've got an added bit of spice to it this year. We've decided that we're going to go with the BFA Vets League. Uh, yeah. Can you confirm if that's going ahead? Definitely. So we just uh, actually had a, a monthly meeting today, so oh. it's definitely going ahead. Uh, it can, it's going to be played at Stepney Green uh, Grass okay. pitch, pitch, and I think we can c we've confirmed six teams. Okay. Are we so taking on any more? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think that there is room to take more, but I, I think, think they want a couple more, don't they? If uh, they w the it, be it would be, it wouldn't be feasible if it was an odd number. So if we yeah. got, if there's a couple more vets teams out there uh, that would be interested in joining the BFA Summer League, it's an 11 aside um, tournament or a league, I guess is what you want to call it. So it'll be uh, happening at alongside our Premiership uh, that takes place at Stepney 3G. So this year we'll be doing the BFA Vet Summer League 11 aside. Like I said, we've got six teams at the moment and they're going to be playing on the grass pitches. So Divisions 1 and 2 will be played at Victoria Park on the bowling green uh, pitches as usual. So again, I think the decision behind that was, was purely because of, again, generate a bit of atmosphere uh, and also the pitches are a lot better at Victoria Park as well. So you, the, the Division 1 and 2 uh, teams will ha will have a better facility to be playing their football on as well. Um, but in terms of the league and the Vets League itself, uh, that seems to be really, really valuable. Yeah, as you it? know, I, it amazes me. I thought the, the older we are, the I mean, less football we play. Mm. But it's, it's converse, you know, like, uh, alhamdulillah, is credit to all, all the players of probably my generation who still have the passion mm -hmm. for football and uh, they're like kind of playing more football uh, now than they did when they were <laughs> younger. So as I say it's fa fantastic atmosphere whenever there's a vet tournament and Alhamdulillah at BFA we've organized quite a few vets tournament now very successfully mm. we, um, and uh, I think this is a new pioneering uh, uh, tournament as well. I don't think no one's done a 11 aside grass vets league uh nope this is the first one so yeah it's exactly. the first one in our community so again B bfa leads the way in terms of you know football for everybody mm, okay all right um but more importantly going we've gone i guess we're going to go the mm. long way around this let's talk about the big one i'm sure we'll talk more later on in the show as well uh just give us an update as to uh for those that don't know BFA or Sporting Bengal will be doing a educational program in association with West Ham United Football Club. Yeah, that's right. You heard it. It's West Ham Football Club. So a massive name, a premiership club, potentially going to be playing w in the Olympic Stadium next year. May even have yeah, champ Champions, you know, League. Champions <laughs> League football. Who knows? Uh, with uh, Ibrahimovic, maybe even possibly wow. gracing the pitch. But that would be amazing if that does happen. But we have the pleasure of being able to do an educational program. It's unique to uh, any Asian club, because I think we're the first in the UK uh, that we can proudly say that we're the first educational program that's gonna be working with a professional club. And we're looking for children um, or boys of the age from 16 to 18 who are looking to or do- Or girls. Or girls, yeah, of course. And who are currently doing their GCSEs, who will be doing the GCSEs this year. So year 11 students. Um, so if you're, if you're in the area, if anywhere in the East London area, uh, the course will be led from our office in Whitechapel and the facilities we're going to be using are the Stepney 3G pitches. That's correct. Uh, just give the viewers uh, a bit of a snippet as to how far, how we're getting on with it and uh, um, what the structure is and also when they can expect the trials. I mean, we've already had one trial uh, a month ago yeah. uh, and we've uh, it was quite very successful. Uh, we're going to process the numbers. Uh, we've got the next one coming in April. Uh, so. I'm confident we'll get more um, young people on, on board. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the structure is basically um, you kind of uh, do your uh, uh, functional skills, Engl English, maths, etc. And at the same time, you do football training, football coaching, leadership, etc. So it's a combination of sport and education. Okay, so they get a BTEC level three. 
diploma yes, at the end of it, at the end of the two years. W which can lead to a pathway to a, a university, university and a degree. Or any other sports led exactly, activities. Yeah. Um, but the potentially, there, if you're a half decent footballer, you're playing in a good league, you're playing a college league, and more importantly, you're living the life of a, an academy scholar that, you know, very similar. That's, that's right. I, I mean potentially, you might be uh, scouted. I mean, it's never too late. Mm. Uh, and also, there's various other skills you will learn, not just sports, uh, management, leadership, you know, uh, uh, teamwork, mm -hmm. etc. So various other skills you, uh, one will uh, learn okay. through this course. Okay. And in terms of uh, the students themselves, uh, again, one of the questions I got recently is, what if you're an, ac an academic child? and um, you want to do A-levels, are you eligible to come on this course or attend this course uh, yeah. with a passion for football? Yeah, I mean, I there's no barrier. I mean, it's, it's the whole idea is to do academically well plus enjoy your sports. So it's a combination of two factors, really, yeah. Okay, and on the course itself, who's going to be doing the day-to-day running of the educational program and more importantly who's going to be doing the coaching in terms of what's the standard going to be like? Coaching should be UA for B uh -huh. uh, coaches Okay, will be doing the actual football uh, coaches or training. Obviously we'll have a centre manager, also have an admin person and also obviously have the teachers or the tutors mm -hmm. come in. So there's going to be qualified people mm. throughout to kind of guide, structure uh, the course so yeah. And in terms of numbers, what we're looking at, what would be the minimum numbers that we're looking minimum at? Minimum, we're looking at 22. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, 18, mm -hmm. I think the minimum is. I think we are more three quarters away uh, already uh, through, you know, through that. So really, we're looking for now probably another um, five or six uh, people. So, I mean, places are filling up quickly. So I would urge people who are watching or, you know, uh, who want to kind of convey the message that mm -hmm to quickly uh, contact BFA and um, you know kind of enroll ASAP. Okay and again uh, with regards to costs and this is this isn't something that you're gonna have to pay for this is a uh, no it's already paid it's for. already paid for so that's it's like correct. any other academic score that's correct yeah, you'll be yeah. doing at college so yeah, it's a similar, yeah. similar thing isn't it yeah. uh, but through the year in terms of the again the, the competition itself for places now we're going in the trial what level what level of footballer would you need to be to have any chance of getting into this course? I think it, it, it depends. Uh, I, I think ideally if, if you are semi-professional level, that'd be ideal, but that's not a barrier. If you are, uh, you know, uh, you know, good player, uh, organized person, as I say, it's two factors, it's not just this course based on footballing skills, you need the academic skills as well. Mm. So, you know, uh, sh someone shouldn't be disheartened or be, you know, deterred from uh, applying, uh, applying if they're not playing semi-professional football. Okay, brilliant. Right, guys, uh, we're out of time for this segment. When we come back, hopefully our guests will appear uh, and then, they're, well, they're not caught in traffic. So when we come back, we will be talking more about Bangladeshi football championship that's going to take place next week. And uh, like I say, we have the draw to look forward to as well. So let's take a two-minute break. We'll see you shortly. <laughs> 